What would occur if Earth were to leave the solar system? Everything in our solar system is precisely structured for life to exist. The planets circle in well-defined orbits around the Sun, and none move out of place to clash with others. As a result, the Earth has a location in the Sun's habitable zone, where temperatures have permitted water to remain liquid and living organisms to arise. However, there are numerous objects in the world that threaten this order. What if something disrupted the solar system's equilibrium by knocking planets off of their orbits one day? What if an astronomical event, such as the approach of a star, evicted Earth from the solar system? Let us investigate. The Earth's Orbit Throughout history, humanity has never witnessed a change in the Earth's natural cycles. We know that the sun will rise again the next day after each night, and we know that the moon will always be there, even if we cannot see it. Because of the Earth's orbit around the sun, we know there will always be seasons. Everything has always been this way, at least throughout human history. However, cosmic events outside our planet threaten these cycles and the order that has existed for millions of years. Is it conceivable for the Earth to break free from its orbit? The Earth's orbit around the Sun began with our planet's birth 4.5 billion years ago. Our planet was deposited in that position by the accretion disk that gave rise to it, and it just so happened that all of the required circumstances for life were discovered right there. That orbit has not changed, or has not changed significantly, since the Earth was formed, allowing all of the ecosystems and forms of life that our planet has had to develop. But just because the Earth has never slipped out of its orbit does not guarantee it will never do so. Gravity forces all objects in the universe to rotate, with the largest and most massive objects attracting the smallest and least massive. As a result, the moons orbit the planets and the planets orbit the sun. Because natural satellites are small and have little mass, they circle around the more massive planets, which in turn orbit the sun, which has 99% of all the mass in the solar system. All of this is in perfect equilibrium, with things with less mass orbiting those with more mass. What kind of event may entirely remove the Earth from the solar system? The Earth might leave the solar system in two ways, one by accident and the other on purpose. Let's start with the first scenario. There are objects in our solar system such as asteroids and comets that could impact Earth and move it slightly off of its orbit if they hit Earth, however these objects are considerably smaller than our planet and cannot push Earth out of the solar system on their own. The only way Earth might be accidentally kicked out of the solar system is if a star other than the Sun got too close to our planet and pushed it out to the solar system's outskirts with its powerful gravitational pull. But could something like that happen? Twin Stars In previous video, we discussed Nemesis, the Sun's possible twin sister, and we explained that there is a possibility that the Sun may have a twin star with the same size and mass floating near the solar system's boundary. A star could also interfere with Earth's orbit in another way. The idea evolved some time ago that 70,000 years ago, a binary system consisting of a red dwarf and a brown dwarf traveled very close to the Oort cloud that surrounds the solar system. Remember that the Oort cloud is an asteroid cloud that surrounds the entire solar system and is at the boundary between the solar system and the interstellar medium. According to the theory, this binary system passed so close to the Oort cloud that its gravity pulled all the nearby objects, disrupting the order and orbits of comets and asteroids, sending some of them to the inner solar system and causing a few to crash into Earth. Although this notion is still being debated in the scientific world, another star is on its way to us. Gliese 710 is a red dwarf star with around half the mass of the Sun. According to projections, this star will be able to penetrate our solar system's Oort cloud in 1.2 million years, becoming the closest star to the Sun and the brightest light in the night sky. Gliese 710 will disrupt the orbits of millions of comets and asteroids in the Oort cloud if this occurs. 
Even planets might depart their orbits, starting a fresh phase of planetary bombardment akin to the solar system's early days, when comets and asteroids rained down on the planets, causing mass extinctions. Even if Gliese 710 affects the Oort cloud, the impacts will not be felt by the inner planets, according to the most conservative calculations. Even still, as we can see, a star can travel much closer and enter the inner solar system rather than simply passing by. The likelihood of another star colliding with the Sun is astronomically low. However, we should be concerned if it passes too close to Earth since it might soon remove our tiny planet from the solar system. However, this is a highly unlikely possibility. What if another star unintentionally evicted Earth from the solar system? To begin with, any star heading into the interior of the solar system would be visible thousands of years before that event occurred, thus it would take decades for humanity to notice that there are two suns in the sky. Future humans would see the sky considerably differently than we do. The new star would appear brighter than the moon and could be seen even during the day, causing changes in the seasons and maybe making the Earth hotter for a period of time. However, as this star begins to move away and leave the solar system, its gravity will drag some planets with it, including the Earth. As a result of the gravitational pull, the Earth will be expelled from the solar system, moving away gradually as the sun shrinks in the sky. The impacts would be imperceptible at first, but the Earth would gradually become colder. When Earth enters Mars' orbit, the global temperature will plummet to minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. As the day grows darker, eternal winter will set in, and the polar ice caps will spread and extend to the equator, covering the entire Earth while flora wither and die, and forests will freeze. Furthermore, the animals will die from hypothermia with no hope of survival. The trophic chain will break, and all living beings will try to live, but none will. The largest will be the first to die, but as plants wither due to the cold and lack of sunshine, lesser animals will perish. The surface temperature of Earth will have plummeted to minus 238 degrees Fahrenheit when it crosses Jupiter's orbit. By that time, nearly everyone will be dead, without the sun's energy to evaporate, water clouds will not form, and the water cycle will come to a halt, polar ice caps will blanket the whole planet, and the ocean will be covered by a thick layer of ice. Our green and blue home will be transformed into a white snow globe. The more heat that is dissipated, the more water that will freeze. The salt concentration in the abyssal depths beneath the ice sheets will develop and harm most remaining organisms. However, amid the fumaroles of undersea volcanoes, some creatures known as extremophiles may be able to adapt to such conditions and thrive in the dark by exploiting the Earth's core heat. As the Earth approaches Pluto's and the Kuiper Belt's orbits, the Sun will continue to be the brightest star in the sky, but it will no longer be distinct from the others. Temperatures at the Earth's surface will plummet to minus 398 degrees Fahrenheit at this distance, causing the gases in the atmosphere to freeze, effectively killing any remaining form of life. Like the Earth exits the solar system, the atmosphere will freeze and fall like snow, forming a layer 10 meters thick, with the remnants of all living species that have ever inhabited the planet beneath it. Life will cease to exist once the Earth becomes a wandering planet unless humanity has been able to prepare well in advance, making the necessary measures to survive even under these extreme conditions. This is where the second alternative we described comes in. Make the Earth leave the solar system on purpose. Xixin Lu, a Chinese writer, proposes this theory in his work The Wandering Earth. Xixin Lu proposes moving the entire planet with city-sized motors fueled by nuclear fusion power. When the sun begins to die, these massive engines can move the entire Earth and send it towards a new star. While this is a novel notion, it could be used to relocate or reposition Earth in its orbit around the sun if a star expelled it from the solar system. Although, in our scenario, it would not be necessary to deploy planetary engines like those depicted in the novel since it would be sufficient to move enormous things inside our solar system and use them to move the Earth using a technique known as gravitational drag. Gravitational drag is the use of one object's gravitational field to influence the direction or speed of another. 
This concept was proposed to fight against asteroids approaching Earth, but it may potentially be used to shift Earth. If we place an object of a given mass near another in space, the gravity of the first will influence the orbit of the second, modifying its orbit around the sun, that is, changing its direction and speed simply because it is close. Both bodies do not need to be in contact in this procedure, they simply need to be placed close to each other in a strategic position that modifies their orbit in the desired direction. To change the direction of the Earth, we would have to move other smaller bodies, such as asteroids, and then use these asteroids to move larger objects, such as Jupiter's moons, and lastly use these moons to shift the Earth's orbit. It is referred to as planetary dominoes. Because different bodies are used, beginning with a little one and progressing to a large one. Moving a few asteroids in this manner could affect the direction of a planet. If we knew that a large star will disrupt our planet's orbit in a thousand years, we could use all of the technology at our disposal to prepare, transferring the entire planet to a place where no star could endanger humanity. Similarly, if we discover this technology too late and a star succeeds to knock Earth out of its orbit, we may utilize it to return our planet to its original orbit. It is not necessary to leave everything to chance when science and human intelligence can assist us in preserving life on Earth and saving us from any threat that may arise. This serves as a reminder that, even in the worst case situation, humanity will always find a way to get forward, conquer any obstacle, and strive towards a brighter future for all living creatures. All right, everyone, here's where the video ends. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.